In this video, we'll show you really the first step in web application hacking, and that's setting up your web application proxy so that you can inspect the traffic that's being sent to and from the server. Uh, first up, we'll use Fiddler, which is a pretty popular uh, web proxy. Um, and to set this up, go under Tools and then Fiddler Options. And then under the Options here on the Connections tab, it'll tell you what port that we need to configure our browser to uh, forward the traffic to. And this is where Fiddler is listening and waiting for requests so that it can show everything. Um, if you hit the Show Gateway Info uh, link here, uh, you'll see that the browser wasn't already configured for a proxy. It hadn't been, uh, Fiddler would be able to accommodate that. Um, also, if you go in the WinINET options, you'll see uh, all of the configuration that um, Windows uses uh, for its proxies. So uh, you'll see that uh, automatically Fiddler populated, uh, you know, local hoster 127.0.0.1 and port 8888 um, as its local proxy. Uh, so that all Windows traffic uh, is now redirected to, to Fiddler. Uh, under Firefox, uh, Fiddler doesn't have the option to automatically populate all of this information. So you have to manually go into it and change it. So go under Tools, Options, and then on the Network tab, uh, click the Connection Settings. And here we can define our manual proxy configuration. Uh, so again, we'll just say um, 127.0.0.1 and our port 8888. Um, and now all Firefox traffic will be redirected through Fiddler uh, so that you can inspect it and modify it as you will. Uh, so here we can just kind of double check that. We'll reload the fountain.com website and you can start seeing all of the requests being populated here uh, and, and filling out. And so if you wanted to set a breakpoint on one of them, you could and then uh, modify the traffic before it's actually being sent over to the server. Uh, so I guess the next thing to do is if there's ever a scenario where Internet Explorer doesn't automatically leverage the configuration settings, you may have to go in there and manually set them. So here we'll show you if you go into Tools, Internet Options, um, you can get uh, the same options that we showed before. Uh, here it's under Connections and then LAN Settings. And so now you can manually set them if you need to. Uh, or have them accommodate for other things. So uh, here there was an automatically set, but we can still um, kind of unclick and make sure it's still there and use this same proxy for all protocols so that everything gets routed through Fiddler. Uh, and then you can, you know, this is how you would manually set that if you didn't want to use Fiddler's uh, automatic options. So press OK. And then we'll minimize that and head on over uh, to our foundsun.com uh, website so that we can uh, see all the traffic get populated in Fiddler. And there it is. It's starting to show up there in the background. Um, and there's all of our requests being sent and being trapped. All right. Uh, so the final thing we'll show you is just uh, Paros. Paros is just another proxy setup as well. It's kind of like Fiddler. It's a little bit older and uh, a little bit maybe more well-known or not so much used. I'm not sure. Uh, if you go under Tools Options here, uh, everything is set up under Local Proxy. And instead of 8888, uh, Paros by default uses 8080. Um, so we can just kind of confirm that that's set. If we wanted to redefine it, we could. Uh, and then press OK. And then just as we did with uh, Fiddler, we'll manually set it up under Firefox. And we'll also, uh, if we wanted to for Internet Explorer, we'd have to manually set it up under Internet Explorer like I just showed you. So go to Tools, Options. Uh, jump over that network tab and then the settings uh, button there. Um, and here you can see, obviously, you know, nothing's manually defined at all. Uh, so you have to go under manual proxy configurations and define it uh, specifically. So again, we'll do 127.0.0.1. You also put localhost here and then define our port. Remember this time it's 8080 instead of uh, 8888 uh, with Fiddler. Okay, just press OK, and OK again. And now when we reload foundsum.com, you'll see everything shows up under Paros. You can see all, again, all of the requests and responses that go through. All right, now that you have your proxy set up, uh, you can start to kind of see how the application functions and start to play around with it and see if there's anything you can change to, to own some stuff up. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Talk to you later.